Alright folks, we're going to start the movie off with uh, recording right off the bat here. I hit play. Super Giants is to the left. This is what's flashing to the left. Move over here, we got Mercury. Okay, That's Mercury. The sun's going to be flashing and blasting over here to the right. This is where everybody's wrong. Okay, Jupiter's over there and it gets a big flash from the sun. Okay, All the objects that are moving close to the sun these days are getting a nice big flare from the sun. Comets are hitting it from the supergiants and from the Milky Way. Okay, The sun is hitting Jupiter and what is presumed to be Elenin in the area, which we do seem to be on a lot of agreement on that. Okay, we got Mercury over here in the middle. Don't pay attention to the, and then we got Alan in there and the pointer. And Jupiter is popping in and out of the picture on H1 here. This is high 1B footage. Okay, so the sun keeps on blasting. We've got it playing here that it's blasting back. The supergiants are over here to the left. That's where the flash you see. That is the supergiants to the left. They actually even flash for a second. We know we got Alan in coming in. Let's back up the video again for a second here. This is my first video ever. This is Beano Black. Enjoy my off the YouTube site. I call it my pirate site because it's off there so we don't get anything like Dutch got censored and so forth and so on for telling the truth. So we got the super giants to the left, folks. Okay? I'm gonna scoot back here a little bit more so you can see the whole screen. That's Mercury there in the middle. Super giants to the left is what's flashing, all that brightness. There are 200 stars. One is in there that's 24 times the size of the sun, and there's some other objects in there that are stars of that 200. There's the bright 100. There's one four times, and they go all the way from four times the size of the sun to, to over two, 24 times the size of the sun. 24 mass. So we've got the super giants in the left-hand side of the screen, folks, that's doing all the light. It's not the sun that everybody got faked out with with that flash. So basically interacting between the supergiants and the sun, they are both flaring. Is this normal all the time? We believe so because they have showed us that there's these flare periods that they go back to, I think it's like 2000 or whatever, or 2002 that NASA shows that we had this flare period. Well, we're not supposed to be in a flare deal right now. We do need to got Alan incoming. It may either make the sky dark completely black during the day or might sparkle a lot of bright light real fast that would be dangerous to your eyes. We don't know. They should have been able to have told us from the footage that they showed us off of uh, that the idea that on the blue, I think uh, Alaska 3 or something like that, that was able to show us that the idea that uh, I'll try to research that footage and get that back up on here and get it on a, a tape but the idea that, like I say in my off-site at BinoBlackWebs.com, uh, that the idea that it is supposed to have gotten a shadow, Mercury, should have got a shadow from Elenin, and also Jupiter should have got one, of going by. Did it get a shadow or not by going by, or some kind of eclipse? There's all kinds of planets that they could have told us that would have gotten an eclipse. I can even show you here off the H1b as we're moving along here. This is going back and I'm rewinding and going back. That's a supergiant flashing into the left, okay? And there's a flare, okay, from the supergiants, okay? Then at the same time, there's also flashes over here to the, the right, which is the sun, okay? The H1b gives us a whole shot. It doesn't, it's not like one and a half of it is a globe over here, it's shooting outer space. So the idea that that is the supergiants to the left that's making the biggest, brightest flashes and that one big flame that we saw shoot out. There's part of it again. Okay, so the supergiants are to the left, sun's to the right. Can't emphasize it enough. Don't want to battle on. That is the sun to the right. The sun to the right, Alanin. 
turning and all that, whatever, I don't, whatever. I, I believe in outer space a blast like that is going to make something move a little bit. There would be a wave. We get in the waves and the X1.8 solar flares here on Earth. So the idea out in outer space, if there's a blast like that, they're in a vacuum tube out there in outer space. It's just like being underwater. If there's a wave underwater, it's going to affect. So, and yes, it should have melted a lot by going through the super giants. And it probably did. But is it, it's almost out of the grasp of the super giants is bright stars. And it didn't melt down all the way. So the idea is still quite large. So the idea, we are going to get a spectacular view of some sorts. And I believe we've already gotten a hold of it in Ant Antarctica. Because you can go to my photo gallery on beanoblackwebs.com and you can get to the link through beanoblack at Yahoo. I mean, beanoblack at YouTube. Beanoblack's channel. Beanoblack's channel. B E A N O B L. A C K Be No Black Be No Black's channel on YouTube and visit Dutch Sense for the Truth on Harp and this is my first video and that's why it's so doggone crappy but you should be able to see the flashes there and the flares from the super giants to the left there's stars there 24 times the size of the sun, 24 mass. The smallest of the 100 is 4 mass, so that's 4 times the size of the sun. And there's 200 stars in all there, so that's why all that light is being seen all across outer space up there. Also, the sun is putting a very impressive show in its own right there. That was Jupiter. That flare was humongous. Distance from Jupiter in the sun and then see what the flame was. That is humongous. And no one's talking about it. Not even NASA. You think they would have got on the TV and go, my gosh, the sun is awesome. It blew a flame all the way from the sun to Jupiter. But no mention of it. What if we get a flare that big and long? Well, we pretty much are. We're getting X1.8 and so on. So, later.